Hey, I'm Nick Williams. I'm here with Joey Turner, and we're going to talk to you about hospital indemnity. How are you doing, Joey? I'm good, Nick. Doing good, doing good. Great, great. And hospital indemnity is one the third product, the third product, actually indemnity products in general are the third product in the four product progression sales system that we use. And the reason that I promote this is because can't answer that is because it's a simple sale and it serves one purpose. And that one purpose is to pay that high cost of the daily hospital copay on a Medicare Advantage plan. Now, Joey, you use it for some other purposes, correct? Correct. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, and I'm going to bring you in, Joey, to talk about those other purposes or those other uh, utilizations of the plan. But but again, I use it. And again, we, we each create, create our own method, our own uh, modus operandi, if you will. And uh, so... I've always used it to pay that daily hospital copay. It's often about three hundred and fifty dollars, uh, and then I pay the ambulance ride because I always say if you're going to be in the hospital for five days, it's probably preceded by an ambulance ride. Does that make sense, Joey? Makes perfect sense. Yeah. So, um, so it's a simple sale. Um, it creates an opportunity to sell when they're when the client thinks they have everything all buttoned up. So they've got their Medicare Advantage, they got their final expense, they don't have much money uh, and, and they're happy. Everything is, they, it, a, they have everything all buttoned up, but oh, there's a problem and it's this $2,000. So the question is, Joe, you know the question, what's the question? The question is, do you have enough money to write a check for this hospital stay? That's the question. <laughs> I put you on the spot and you passed the test, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, and, and that's it. You got $2,000 in the bank. Again, three fifty dollars times five days. I think that comes up to $1,750, Joey. Uh, and then the, the ambulance cost is typically a couple hundred bucks, right? Usually, yes. Yeah, there you go. $2,000, you got that? No, here's the thing. The typical senior citizen has no money, okay? The typical, the typical, um, as on average, in the, in the Americans have no money. They live paycheck to paycheck. Seniors have a smaller paycheck and they're living paycheck to paycheck. If they go in the hospital, they're going to get crushed with this um, $2,000 bill when they get out. So it create it has, it has a... It has a definite, a defined purpose. It's a good consumer purchase. It works well. My clients use it often. So it's also affordable. So it's affordable. Uh, you could typically get by with $40 a month on one of these plans. Uh, and then uh, it's also easy issue. It's guaranteed issue with some of the companies as well on a turning 65 basis. So Joey, I say that Forty dollars is a reasonable premium, or for especially somebody turning sixty-five. But now you have a different approach you've used in the past. Can you tell me about that? Uh, so one approach that I've used in the past is uh, using this hospital indemnity plan to also take care of a couple of other expenses. You can use it for skilled nursing care. You can use it for lump sum cancer. Uh, it's a very flexible plan. You can choose, you know, exactly what benefits you want. So. The easiest way is Nick's way, where you cover the hospital copay and the ambulance copay. Uh, if you run into a situation where they're more comfortable with higher premiums, you can plug in several other things. Now, Joey, you told me about your experience with this. So again, I want to put you on the spot. <laughs> your experience with this on those higher premiums, what was, what was one result that you had? Well, one result is uh, the persistency is lower with higher premiums. So there is an argument to be made for the lower premium and the simple coverage. My argument is if I can allocate, if I can allocate dollars to final expense, I'm making a much higher commission. I'm at 115, 120 uh, uh, points, right? Right. I want to sell final expense. 
But this is a nice tidy little uh, sale to, and listen, $40, you're typically 50, 50% or, or a little better commission in that range, right, Joey? And the, that's a couple hundred dollars and the renewals are respectable as well. Five, 10% renewals, you know, so it's a, uh, you'll build a book. And here's the thing. If you keep that premium down, so I'm going to argue against Joey's approach. <laughs> I want my persistency to be above 90%. But here's the point. There are different approaches. Everybody creates their own. Say, again, I used the modus operandi or your uh, sales system. You develop and put, plug into the products that resonate with you and which you feel that would be best for the client. So there's a balance there. And there's probably a time and place for each, Joey. You would agree with that? Absolutely, Nick. Absolutely. So, um, but go ahead, Joey, did you, did you want to elaborate on that? Well, I would just say that uh, the circumstances where you would want to do a higher premium for hospital indemnity would be, uh, for instance, someone who wanted to get off a supplement and their supplement was already several hundred dollars a month, and maybe they can't pass a uh, supplement underwriting, but they can pass the hospital indemnity underwriting because it's much easier. Now, in those cases, they usually do stick. I have, uh, mm -hmm. I have them as high as 200, 230 bucks a month, and they do stick. But for most circumstances, it is better just to cover the hospital stay in the ambulance. Yes. And uh, again, it, it's what works. And you're right. If they, you can put together a package. Let me tell you something. One in three Americans get, uh, have cancer. And even at some point in their life, my mom passed away of cancer. I mean, we all know somebody that has passed away from cancer. It's, it's, it's one of the number one killers. And, um, you know, it's scary. It's not that just people pass away, but it's the costs that are incurred while you are undergoing treatment and uh, the cost, the burden on the family. So it's a good, uh, it, it's good. And I, that's why, Joey, I wanted, I wanted you to elaborate and you did it perfectly uh, on the, these plugging in these other uh so we, we, would you call them a rider on the policy, on the base policy? Yeah, that would be a good way of putting it. They, yeah. They're options. When you fill out the application, you just plug in different riders, different options mm -hmm. to build it to what you want it to be. Yes. I go in when I do it, you know, uh, if, I, if I'm and again, over the phone or face to face, very simple. The apps for these are simple. I would either. It, it's a, OK, by the way, the companies that I would recommend GTL, Medico and Heartland. And uh, Joey, anything, is, is that cover it for you? Or? Yeah, that covers it for me too. Yeah, so the apps are simple. They're, they're just, uh, they're extremely simple to use. And again, the questions, it's, it's basically uh, chronic conditions or it's issued, right? So Joey, what other, uh, what else do you want to add to this? Because we want to keep this a nice short training session for, you know, for, for people to get, start their day off, so to speak, get some knowledge, some product knowledge in this case, but what else do you want to throw in there, Joey? Well, one thing I want to say is make sure you always ask for this. Uh, if you, if you have a Medicare Advantage customer, uh, probably 30% are going to buy one of these, but mm -hmm. if you don't ask, you won't get it. So make sure it's part of your presentation. And thus, I'll get to the uh, closing statement. If you don't pull it out of your bag, and you can use that metaphorically, if you're selling over the phone, you, you can't sell it, right, Joey? That's right. <laughs> you, can't, you can't sell what you don't sell, right? Hey, listen, uh, tune into Medicare Millionaire, like our training videos, um, subscribe to our channel. And uh, Joey, I'm going to end it right there. All right, Nick. All right. Bye-bye, man.